Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to unbox Cooler Master's um, V6 GT CPU cooler. Now this is a new CPU cooler from Cooler Master. It's um, a lot less small, well I'm, I'm sorry, it's smaller than Cooler Master's V8 in uh, dimension wise and different design too. It has a um, push-pull design. So meaning it's going to have a fan in front that's going to intake cold air and then the fan in the back that's going to exhaust hot air. And it's a pretty nice package too. It has this little lid here that will come up where you can actually see the Cooler Master logo and everything. And uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Well actually here it has like, it looks like two alternators here so it's meant to look like an engine block. I think it looks kind of like uh, something Batman would use for his computer. But pretty nice packaging. You can see what it's going to look like. Definitely looks like it, uh, something Batman machine in my opinion. But um, officially it's going to support LGA 1366, 1156, uh, 775, and AMD AM3, AM2, plus, and AM2. So, let's take a look at what this uh, what Cooler Master has in store. So, it's packaged cut pretty nicely, actually. Okay. Whoa. We have a foam packaging here, and then. Let's see. That's actually one of the better packaging packages to have. Not even the uh, V8 has foam packaging in the bottom. Okay, you have their warranty information. The user's manual and install guide. Okay, and the... Wow, that's kind of odd. Usually, usually these are in plastic bags, but guess not in this case. Um, you have all the brackets necessary for AM2 and AM3 and uh, Intel installations. So, Cooler Master gives you a little bit of their thermal paste in there too. Um, it's pretty decent stuff, but uh, a lot of people like to go with Arctic Silver, or if you really want to, there's a new uh, uh, thermal paste out there that uses crushed diamonds. So, let's take a look at the CPU cooler. It's pretty cool looking actually. It's pretty awesome looking. Definitely looks like a, an engine black or it definitely looks like a um, something Batman would have in his computer, I think. The front blades are really nice too, actually. So, this will probably be a very quiet cooler, but this will be the intake side, and this will be the exhaust side. So, when it sits in your computer, it will sit like this. And what do we have here in the back? We have... Okay, this is very nice. This is something that uh, I haven't seen other coolers have. What we have here is we have leads that connect to one single um, header. This will plug into a CPU fan header, meaning both of these fans can be controlled by one fan header on the motherboard, which is very, very nice. With this type of design, push pro design, uh, often what you'll find is you'll find each fan having its own power and its own uh, uh, motherboard header. So, this is a really nice design. Uh, they really thought this one out. It seems like... All I see here is one... Molex connector. And I can't tell right off the bat if this actually... But it seems like it is. It seems like um, this... These two fans draw power from the same Molex connector. Or draw power from the motherboard. So... Pretty interesting design, pretty nice design. Uh, consolidates a lot, you know, helps out with wiring. And we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six heat pipes on this side, and six heat pipes on this side, and the radiator itself is pretty big. Uh, what you can't see is, I don't know too, if you can zoom in, but in the middle, we have a clear line here. This is actually LED lit, and uh, it's gonna look pretty nice. When the, it's gonna be multiple, you know, colors, and. I believe you can't choose from uh, certain colors on this, so. But, quick unboxing of Cooler Master's V6 CPU cooler. Looks pretty nice, it's not too big, uh, so it should fit in most cases. Uh, thanks for watching, any questions or comments, just post them on the bottom of the screen.